welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to bring you my geeky gift guide. So to me, small businesses make Christmas. I much prefer looking at small businesses, at handmade items on websites such as Etsy when I'm looking for my gifts because I just feel like you can get a gift that is so much more personal when you go down the small business route. So what I've done is I've teamed up with a few small independent shops and I'm going to be showing you the items that they have on sale that would make perfect Christmas gifts. Or a little treat for yourself. That's okay, right? All the information on the shops and their items that I've included in this video will be in the description bar down below and there's also some lovely discount codes for you as well. So let's get going with the first item and the first thing that I'm going to be talking about is bookish and fandom tea. I know. These items are from Rosie Lee Tea and I have a couple to show you. So the first two I have to show you are these little pouches and these are the little author teas. So this one is Jane Austen a delicate infusion, a blend of rose and passion flower, and then I also have C.S. Lewis, which is an exotic spicy blend of vanilla, black tea and spices, which I think sounds amazing. <laughs> Honestly, it's been so hard not to just open these and drink it all. Not only do they do these little pouches, but they also do these little tins as well, which are based on different characters. So here we have a Harry one, which is obviously from Harry Potter. So this Harry Potter tea is caramel, and this one, which is the Mad Hatter, is peaches and blossoms and then we have this Dean from Supernatural one of course I had to include a Supernatural item and this is a green tea with the flavor of rhubarb and cherries which is just perfect personally I think these make really lovely stocking fillers I think they make great secret Santa gifts you can get teas for different books for different films for different fandoms I really really recommend going and checking out the shop because once I saw it I fell in love I just think they're a really really unique gift and I absolutely love the packaging the next couple of items I have to show you match and they are from a shop called Jilly Jilly. Now these items from Jilly Jilly I absolutely love. First of all we have this very very lovely notebook which I think is adorable. It's very lightweight, it's made with recycled pages and it just has such a lovely design on the front. You've got lots of books, open books, closed books, stacks of books and lots of keys and teapots. Now what I love about this shop is that this design also comes on this mug which I think is absolutely adorable. It's a really really nice mug and again it's got the books, the open books, the keys and it's a lovely pastel colour and I just think it's really really lovely. I think these would be really great gifts for somebody who was still at school, somebody who was at college, somebody who was at university. I just think these are a really good gift for somebody who's still studying. The other thing that really made the shop stand out to me is the packaging. This packaging is absolutely to die for. Now I really like pretty packaging because I think sometimes when you're buying a gift for somebody you want to be able to send it directly to them or you want to get it through in the post and be able to give it to them straight away and Jilly Jilly has perfect packaging. The mug came in this really pretty box with some pastel confetti and also a lilac ribbon around it and I just feel like that makes it a really really lovely gift. It's so cute! The next thing I have to show you is another mug and this one is from Tiny Zen Design and I absolutely adore this mug and this one says just one more chapter with a little itty bitty heart on it. What I really really love about this mug is the font, I really love the typography and it's on both sides which I think is just an added bonus. What I like to do is I actually like to make little gift sets up with mugs so I'll start off with the mug, I'll put in something like tea if it'll actually go in there. I might put in a pair of socks, a bath bomb, a candle and then I'll wrap it all up with cellophane and I just find that this turns a gift that was already lovely into like a little handmade gift set which I just think makes it just that little bit more special. Like I said I absolutely love this mug and I really really love the typography. This shop also does cushions and tote bags so if a mug doesn't float your boat then go on to their website and check out their other designs. The next shop I want to discuss with you guys is one that as soon as I found it I absolutely fell in love with pretty much everything and that is Literary Emporium. What I love most about this shop is the huge range of items that they have and how so many different items range across varying different budgets which I think is really great when it comes to Christmas because sometimes you've already got someone a big gift and you just want to get them like a couple of little bits or you haven't got a massive budget anyway and you just want to get something small but something that's really thoughtful. So the first thing that I want to show you which is probably my favourite item from their shop is this magic notebook. So this is a recycled page notebook, it's very much like the kind of exercise book that you would expect to have if you were at Hogwarts and there's lots of different classes that you can get. I picked this one because this is the book of divination. Because I absolutely love Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban I saw this and I just had to have it and I think it's such a sweet gift because it's really really lightweight, again it's a nice stocking filler, it's a really nice budget gift and I just think it's so so lovely. Something else that I absolutely love from the Literary Emporium is their range of enamel pin brooches. I'm really into enamel pins at the moment, I feel like it's a bit of a trend that's kind of taking over and they have some really really lovely ones but the one that they sent me which I think is adorable is this Reader's Gonna Read one which I just think is absolutely adorable. I really like this, I'd love to receive one of these for Christmas but what I love about this is that it's so small and it's so lightweight so if you have to post somebody something and 
you're really conscious of like spending too much on postage this would be really really light to post. I really love the packaging on this one it's done like a little library note thing which I think is really adorable and yeah, I just think this is a really, really nice gift. They also have a really nice range of bookmarks, which again are really affordable. I like this one because this is a Pride and Prejudice one, and it says, it is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. So this is a Pride and Prejudice bookmark, and I feel like you guys can probably see where I'm going with this, but here I have some Pride and Prejudice tea. And again, this lovely Just One More Chapter mug, which we pop the tea in, and then there you go. Now this wrapped in some cellophane would make a really, really lovely gift don't you think? And the final thing I have to show you from Literary Emporium is this reading journal. Now as soon as I saw this I knew I had to talk to you guys about it because I feel like this is a really lovely gift for someone who does book blogging, for somebody who does booktubing, or even for somebody who perhaps want to but they need somewhere to write their notes down about the book that they've read. Now technically you don't need a reading journal, you just need a notebook, but I think this is a really lovely gift for someone who is like a budding book blogger or something like that because you have title, author, genre, date started, finished, you can then colour in a little star rating and then you can also put your thoughts here and at the bottom there's a section for your favourite quotes. I feel like this is a really really nice gift and it's the kind of thing that you don't typically see in like bookshops and stuff and I just think like I said it would make a really really lovely gift for somebody who wants to get into book reviewing. And the final shop that I'm going to talk to you guys about is a shop called Dreamscape Inc and I absolutely adore this shop. They sent me a really lovely range of items to show you guys and the first thing that I'm going to show you are these adorable coasters. Can we just take a moment? So as you can see there's one Game of Thrones and then three Harry Potter coasters. I absolutely adore these. The first one is the Mother of Books, then we have Expecto Pertronum, after all this time and you're just as sane as I am. Again I think these are a really lovely, I know I keep saying it, but affordable gift and, and you're going to see exactly where I'm going with this, but isn't that just a lovely gift? These are all so bright and colourful, I just think they are all absolutely adorable. Of course I love the Luna Lovegood one. Luna Fluffgood, on the other hand, is currently meowing, ruining my video. I think these are absolutely adorable and again this is very light to post, you could post this item very cheaply and I think they'd make lovely stocking fillers. The shop do these lovely little badges which again I think make great stocking fillers or, you know, great cup fillers. They also do little stickers which again are great stocking fillers and they do this unicorn one and this one which is my absolute favourite which is the same cat that's on the coasters and it says Expecto Patronum. I love it. And the final thing I have to show you in this gift guide is something that I absolutely adore and it's this. My dear. You have the grim. So earlier you guys have heard me talking about how much I love Prisoner of Azkaban so of course I absolutely adore this. This is an absolutely lovely teacup and mug set so of course the actual cup itself shows the grim in the mug and it's just the attention to detail on this is just absolutely stunning. I just feel like for a Harry Potter fan this gift is just like a 10 out of 10 because you've got the grim and then you've got all the lovely like detailing all around the inside of the mug and then you've also got the saucer which has the grim on it as well and then it says my dear you have the grim and you can get this with the saucer painted as well or you can buy it plain and just have the cup and I just feel like for a Harry Potter fan who wouldn't love this? As soon as I saw that teacup and saucer I knew how much I was going to love it and I knew that so many of you guys are going to love it as well and I just think that it makes a really lovely gift and if any of my friends are watching and are hoping that I'm going to give them this, mm -mm. no. So that's it for my festive geeky gift guide, I hope you guys enjoyed it. What item do you love the most? Which item would you most love to receive as a gift? Which one would you most like to give? Let me know in the comments down below and if you guys want to go and check out the shops that I've mentioned, all the information is in the description box down below with some little discount codes as well. I just want to say a massive thank you as well to all the shops that have actually got involved with this gift guide because I do want to do the same thing next year but when I did it for the first time this year obviously the shops didn't know what the video was going to look like, they didn't know really what they were getting involved in so I just want to say a massive thank you to all the shops that were involved, it was so much fun working with them, every single person that I spoke to was just absolutely lovely. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!